Hey guys, it's Sai1 here. This has been a very highly requested video on my channel, seeing as I'm the only editor for the PewDiePie channel. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you guys how I edit a PewDiePie video. So this video is going to be an update video to my former colleagues, Brad. His video is linked in the description below. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that he's missed out. It's been quite a while, all right? So let's start off with the first step, which is downloading the video. So I'm using Filmora 10. They happen to also sponsor this video, which is pretty cool. Check them out, link description, download it. So Felix typically sends me the video on a Google Drive. Now, professional video editors need to have great internet. Like, it's paramount. But if your internet is kind of ass, then fear not, as I've got a workaround in order to help you. So what you want to do is note down what country you have your internet. So for me, it's the UK. And then now Google search, what's the best internet globally? And hopefully you should have Taiwan as your answer, like I do. What you want to do then is open any one of your favorite VPNs. Mine happens to be Hotspot Shield and set the VPN to Taiwan. Give it a minute to make sure it works and voila, your internet's better now. For me, I've noticed significant speed increases, as you can see here, like my internet happens to be better than my country's average, so you know it works. Now, once you have everything downloaded, before you edit, you're gonna make sure everything is correct, no errors, you don't wanna run into having unusable files. Now, onto the preparation part, pop your files into Filmora. You guys have seemed to notice that PewDiePie videos are much higher quality now than what they used to be, and it's not because that he has a better camera, it's not, he it, it literally doesn't upgrade. But in fact, it's a new method that I've personally had time to research and refine. So I use the help of neural networks to do that. As you can see with these raw files, they kind of look and sound like this. How's it going, bro? My name is You may know me as a man that carries no regrets because I've done nothing wrong. So what you want to do is go on Google, search for fast online HD video converter. The problem with Google sometimes is Google tends to hide certain results. So what works for me is I go to page one, then to page 10, then to page two again, and then click this link. You'll come across this site. It should look like this. And then what you gotta do next is upload your file. Remember to use the VPN. And when that's done, download it again. And How's there you going, go. Bro? As my you can see, the quality has significantly you improved. Man, you can thank me later, right. all right? Now that we've got the preparation part over, let's go on to the real editing part, cutting. So using Filmora is pretty easy. Like you can just, you just literally drag and then press cut. It's quite self-explanatory, it's not too hard. This is what you're gonna be doing 99% of the time. So what you gotta do is focus on looking at the waveforms and just cutting all the dead air. Like at this point, you don't even need to look at the preview. You can just turn off the preview entirely. After you get done with all the cutting, next step is to import an overlay to get that nice PewDiePie design. Felix personally suggested me to make this animated thing but just looking at it, you can tell that it would take an age to make. And this is where as a professional editor, you got to sort of think outside the box. Think of ways to get the desired result as quick and efficiently as possible. And the best way to get that done is to get someone else to make it. Thank you Sleepy Tanuki for making this for me. You saved me a ton of sleep with this. Drag and drop that in. Now we need fitting music. Uh, this, this step's pretty easy. YouTube is your resource, it's not too hard. Anything non-copyright would do. Slap that in. Now that's essentially it. Now what you have right now is pretty much a basic bare bones PewDiePie video done and ready for the next step, which is the more creative part, keyframing and effects. What I do to make cuts look as smooth as possible is to keyframe and position them as so. I like to zoom in a lot as I think Felix really likes his face a bit too much. Make sure to use his nose as sort of like a guide to help you get the positioning right. And repeat this with every alternate cut as you get seamless cuts as so. This takes a while depending on how long your video is, but over time you sort of learn how to automate this and get this done as quick as possible. So keep practicing. Now for the moments where PewDiePie is super loud, which is pretty much most of the video, what I like to do is add a reverb effect as so, just to spice up the video a bit and give his voice a bit more depth. I'm just gonna apply this effect to the whole video because why not? For parts where he looks a bit sad, and this is where you gotta be careful because by default, he always looks so sad, slap on a black and white filter, put a rain overlay that you can find on YouTube on top of that, and add some sad music in, but please, for the love of God, don't add this song in. I hate it, it's so overused. I wanna kill my I guess maybe add a meme here and there. 
luckily with PewDiePie, it's got a huge backlog of videos. So if you ever need ideas, you can always just recycle some things from like years back. Obligatory Phineas and Ferb reference. You just got to sprinkle that in. At this point, make sure to save every couple of minutes as these effects are very computer intensive. The last thing you want to do is start this all over again. We're almost done now. So one thing you want to make sure is to remove all swear words and replace them with a bass sound effect. Make sure you put the volume of the sound effects significantly higher than normal because you hate your life. It's not a real PewDiePie video if Felix doesn't reference you at some point. In my case, he references me quite a bit. I feel like he does it because he feels sorry for me, uh, considering how I do 99% of the work for the channel. And for that, I'd say thanks, pay me more. So what I do is I like to add my input to everything. The more input, the better. And what you want to do now, finish it up with a stolen Coco Melon intro. And now let's render this out. You want to start rendering this out in the lowest quality. And then when it's done rendering, re-render it again and make sure to upscale the quality using the site I suggested earlier. Next thing you want to do is title it appropriately, then upload to YouTube and hopefully you should have a banger video ready. What you got to do at this point while this uploading is that you got to pray because if there's any problems with the videos like demonetization or copyright claiming, you pretty much got to wish your night goodbye because you got to fix all these issues and it got copyrighted which means you have to do it all again with much less time than you have. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out Filmora. They have a ton of features and pretty much everything you need if you wanted to make an actual <laughs> PewDiePie video. Click the link in the description to get a free trial of the new Filmora 10. Leave a comment below to share your experience with Filmora or share this video with the hashtag side with Filmora to win a free year license. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. See you next week on my new video, teaching an ego how to edit a PewDiePie video. Bye. Spilling pieces of a poet, don't you know?